Howdy guys, the Army of Otters here, and today I'm going to show you how to do the most efficient cap glitch in Fallout New Vegas. This glitch is really easy to do, even though don't let the video duration get to you. So this is a remake of a glitch I've done in the past, however this video is going to be more detailed, and it's going to be much higher quality. So some quick things to go over though before we dive into the glitch is if you have a DLC character, meaning like if you have DLC weapons and armor, you're not going to want to do this glitch, otherwise you will lose those weapons and armor. If you do have a DLC character though, I will be uploading two other videos that will be in the description below. Um, if they're not up yet, it's just because I haven't uploaded them yet, but they will be there eventually telling you how to uh, other infinite cap glitches, but this is by far the most efficient. So if you are starting a new account or you're new to the game, this video is for you. This glitch works on Xbox 360 and apparently PlayStation 3. I cannot confirm PlayStation 3 though. People in the comments section on my last video said it does. And also, this does not work on Xbox One. And my last thing, is on this glitch does work on Ultimate Edition when previously I said it hadn't. So this does work on Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edi Edition, which is the edition I'm doing it on. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive into the glitch. All right, guys. So to do this glitch, you're gonna have to travel to Prim. Um, it's the city directly south of Good Springs, which is where you start out. And chances are you've been here. The main quest takes you here, but I'm trying to give you a relative location of where Prim is. So to start the glitch, you have to complete the quest My Kind of Town. If you've already completed the quest, you can click here in the video to take you to the part after you've completed the quest. All right, and if you have not completed the quest, I'm going to show you by far the fastest way to complete this quest. So the My Kind of Town, it's a very easy quest. Once you go into Prim, you're going to want to go to the Lucky Casino, which, I mean, I'm going to show you how to get there right now. When you first enter Prim, there's going to be some uh, escaped convicts on the street, but nothing you shouldn't be able to handle as long as you have some decent weapons. Another thing I want to point out is if you want to do this glitch, I'd recommend having at least 100 caps. So by killing these conflicts, uh, convicts, sorry, if you, by killing these convicts, you can take their stuff, loot their bodies. As you can see there, I take those mines, which are worth money. I'm just going to sell them to the merchant in Good Springs for 100 caps. So my basic re uh, recommendations for this quest is to have at least 30 science or 3 fission batteries and 4 conductors. This makes the uh, quest extremely easy to complete. Obviously having 30 science is probably by far the easiest requirement. I'm a level 1 when I'm doing this and I just set my character up to have 30 science right off the bat. And if you don't have 30 science or the 3 fission batteries and 4 conductors, you can, there's still other ways to complete the, this quest. In fact, there's two other ways. Um, I'll be posting a link to an older video I made of, of the other way, which is with the NCR. This route's with making a robot the sheriff. Basically, you have to find a sheriff for the town is the quest. So anyways, go ahead and kill these convicts outside of in between the Lucky Casino and the Vicky and Vance Casino. And you can take all their stuff if you want so you can sell it later. So once you've killed the convicts, you're going to head into the Lucky Casino over here. Inside, there's going to be about, I want to say, seven to eight convicts that will attack you on spot. Um, they're pretty easy, except for maybe the leader. He's a little bit uh, harder just because he has better armor. Um, if you're doing the glitch, since you're glitching the game, I would just recommend doing this part on easy or whatever. It's just so you get through it a little bit easier. So... I speed, I speed up certain parts of the video just because I'm like looting or doing something that's kind of pointless. But anyways, there's a lot of stuff in this hotel. There's caps, there's pre of money, and obviously you have the convicts and all of their gear. There's plenty of, plenty of stuff to loot if you need money. Now something I want to recommend, when I was uh, doing this glitch before just without recording, making sure it still all worked properly, when I opened this door, I went down that way, I accidentally got Deputy Beagle killed, who you're rescuing in this hotel. So you might not want to do that if you want to keep Beagle alive, he can help advance the main quest. So I just figured I would do it the more difficult way, which is just going into this room and killing everybody. Obviously though, you can choose whatever path you want. So anyways, yeah, this is the escaped convict I was talking about. He's the leader. As you can see, he's a little bit more health, but I got lucky there with a good shot. Anyways, go ahead and clear out this room, and then you're going to go free Deputy Beagle. You like that? Uh, 
I don't suppose... I don't plan to come back to... So once you've rescued Beagle, you're just going to want to leave the hotel. On your way out, there's going to be a terminal on your left, or I guess on your way in, and an uh, easy terminal and a hard locked door. If you get through the terminal, you can open the room, and there's going to be caps and uh, supplies and stuff you can loot in there. But I just kind of skipped it because I, I wasn't going to waste my time with it. Um, because this, like, this playthrough isn't really meaningful to me. Well, Anyways, once you're outside, you're going to want to go ahead and talk to Deputy Beagle. And he's going to tell you that Prim needs a sheriff. And for whatever reason, he can't fulfill that spot. So you're going to have to find a new sheriff. Here you can go to find a guy named Myers at the NCR Correctional Facility. You can get the NCR themselves. Or we can just go fix this robot and voila, the quest is complete. I don't know what it was, so you're going to go in the Vicky and Vance Casino. And inside there's going to be this guy that talks to you. You don't have to talk to him though. And then you just want to go over here to this robot. And this is where you need 30 science or the three fission batteries and four conductors. So I just use my science and now he is the sheriff of Prim and he will go clear out the remaining convicts and the quest is complete. And now we can get on with the glitch. So with the glitch, assuming you're connected to Xbox Live, you're going to want to go to your main, uh, the main Xbox menu. So before you do this, save your game. Make sure you don't over overwrite one of your previous saves. Just save your game. Create a new save, and you're going to go to the Xbox home screen, you know, by hitting the Xbox button and hitting home, which is the Y button. Once you're at home, you want to scroll over all the way to your right and go to system, go to storage. Uh, storage took a long time for me to pull up. It took like over 30 seconds for whatever reason. I kind of just skipped that. But once you're in, you're going to go to games and apps. You're going to want to go scroll down to Fallout New Vegas. And here's where some things are going to be kind of quirky. If you're not using Ultimate Edition, in here is going to be something that says Fallout New Vegas update patch or whatever, blah, 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 blah. You're going to want to delete that update. And also, you have to delete any and all DLCs you have. This is why if you have a DLC character, you're not going to want to use them for this glitch. But go ahead and delete all the DLCs and that update. Now, if you're using the Ultimate Edition, the update will not appear here, and you have to clear a cache. And don't worry, i show you how you clear the cache. Alright, so once you've deleted all of your DLC, go back to the main thing where it says hard drive and hit device options with Y, and then it'll say clear system cache, you're going to hit yes clear. This won't do anything to the, uh, your Xbox or to your games or to any of your saves, so you don't have to worry about that. At the most, it might remove a couple of updates from a few games, but it shouldn't be an issue. I've never even had to remove updates, so you shouldn't have to worry about anything. But make sure you clear the cache, and then back out, make sure you deleted all of the DLC and any updates. And then go back over and click play Fallout New Vegas. And then as it's loading up, you should see this very familiar message that says, Disconnected from Xbox Live, you need to install the update. We do not want to install the update, so just hit cancel. You do have to be offline for the duration of this glitch. So when you start Fallout New Vegas, and you if you had any DLC and you hit continue, it's going to say, some downloadable content is no longer available, blah, 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 and uh, it's basically a warning. As long as you're a new character, it shouldn't affect you, or if you haven't you really played any DLC, it won't affect you either. Now we have to wait for three days. So once you start up your new save, wait for three days. My game actually froze while I was doing this, um, so I had, to, I had to reload it, which is why I cut the video kind of skipped there. But after you've waited three days, travel to anywhere else other than Prim. So I just go to Good Springs, and while I'm in Good Springs, I decide to go ahead and sell all the stuff I collected to the merchant in Good Spring so I can get a hundred caps. Alright, cool. So once you travel anywhere else other than Prim, you're just going to want to go straight back to Prim. And once you're back in Prim, you're going to want to go back inside the Vicky Vance Casino. And when you're inside, you're going to notice it's dead. There's nobody inside and you're just going to kind of want to walk towards the middle of it. And once you uh, start heading back towards the door, these uh, uh, raiders are going to walk in. They're escaped convicts as well. They're going to say, hey, punk, this is our casino. I recommend if you have 30 speech, you can get past these guys. If you do not, you'll probably have to kill them. But if you have 30 speech, you can just uh, follow exactly what I said, and they'll go away peacefully. 
Or you can kill them and take all of their stuff. It's, it's completely up to you. Once you've cleared them out of the casino, you're going to want to go back outside to Prim, and you're going to want to fast travel to anywhere else other than Prim, so I just go straight back to Good Springs. Once you're in Good Springs, you will again have to wait for three days. I know this is kind of tedious, but this is how the glitch works. And yes, you do have to fast travel and you do have to wait. I tried it without doing it and the glitch doesn't work as it should. Anyways, go back to Prim. And then you're going to go inside again, the Vicky Advanced Casino. And once you're inside, you're going to want to go up to the cash register lady. And you're going to want to exchange as many caps as you can for chips. So I had like around 260 caps, so I just gave her 260 caps for 260 chips. Welcome to Vicky and Vance. Can I? So, anyways, once you've bought all the caps you can, I mean chips, pardon me. Once you've bought all the chips you can, as you can see, I have 260 Vicky and Vance chips. You're gonna want to go back up to her and say, I want to exchange or I want to turn to my chips and say, I take my payout in caps. Now. For whatever reason, the game does not take these uh, chips out of your inventory. So you just want to keep repeating and repeating. Now the best thing about this glitch is it stacks. What I mean by that, as long as you keep getting caps, you can buy more and more chips, and then you can uh, turn in those chips for even more money. So I just sped it up a little bit. As you can see, I have 2,000 caps Welcome now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, buy 1,000 chips. So I'll have 2,000 chips in total, and then I can keep turning in 2,000 chips over and over and over again for 2,000 caps. And you can keep uh, doing this process until you have 50,000 chips, which is how high I recommend you go. Once you have 50,000 chips, you can you can get 2 million uh, caps in, I mean, under 5 minutes. So I kind of speed things up here, but you can see what I mean. Uh, by the time this is over, I'm, I'm like 80,000 caps short of 2 million. So right there you can see I have 15,000 chips and 30,000 caps. So basically now my ideal is now I can get 50,000 uh, chips. But you can buy how many other chips you want. I mean, if you're really crazy about this, you could buy a million chips and then keep turning in a million chips for a million caps. But honestly, there's no point in doing that. So I'm just showing you here me getting 55,000 chips and then you can just keep turning them in. Really, I don't think you would ever Welcome need more than a million uh, caps. Uh, and I mainly just want the caps because the DLC weapons are kind mm -hmm. of expensive, especially with the Gunrunner's arsenal. But I'd recommend getting a million if you really want to do the glitch and you really want to have infinite caps. But, I mean, you can go as far as you want. If you want to be just the richest motherfucker ever, you can do that. But anyways, as you can see here, um, you're always going to keep the 55,000 chips until you re-upload the uh, DLC, or DLC and update, and then it'll go away. Here I show you how many caps I have in total, which is insane. It's about 80,000 short of 2 million. But anyways, guys, that is the glitch, and now you are done. You can go back, reinstall all your DLC, and reinstall the update, and you are good to go. Just make sure you remember to save, or if autosave is on, obviously, then you should be fine. And then you can go ahead and restall all your updates and whatever. And I'm just going to show you real quick me updating the game and installing all the DLC. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. And also, if you have any questions, please feel free to message or comment. And I will try do my best to answer those questions. And if you have any ideas on any other videos you would like to see from me, please let me know in the comments section below.